to another commentary done by Diggity upper right hand corner we have Rancor starting as the red Zerg bottom left hand corner we have Masucci starting as Urk Masucci I should actually mention that this is an inner clan this is a uh, these are two amazing clans you've got Ash mostly European based you have Urk uh, which they're all over the place Urk uh, I believe so Urk an amazing clan Ash an amazing clan be sure to check out the Brood War Clan League which BWCL which uh, Revolution Veer who's also covering Fighting Spirit Mania, this is, oh, I should mention, yeah, Fighting Spirit Mania, set two of seven, game three, game of peace, and the other big bit of news, I got two other big pieces of news to share, if you're interested in learning StarCraft, be sure to join CPL, so this is for entertainment, if you really want to learn the game, and test your medal, and one and join BSL, be a Chobo League, or Hassle League champion yourself, CPL is the place to do it. And particularly if you got a lot of free time, I think it's a good hobby. It's you got a, a lot of signatures. CPL eight signature or si signups signatures. CPL eight signups are online now, so check that out in all the locations. It's mostly for the Twitch chat. I don't know when this will end up on YouTube. Looks like we are seeing a nine pool for Rancor, and unfortunately, well, we'll see if it's an over pool again. Honestly, I'm almost expecting an over pool out of Masuchi, considering how the luck has worked out for him thus far. Um, see once he hits 200 and it looks like it is going to be an overpool so rancor once again at a build order disadvantage maybe it'll still play out for him it's not a guaranteed win but the other big piece of news that i want to give out is that resident hero or i guess resident i should just say brood war hero zero has gone full time in his production of bsl he's the main driver between bsl he's the guy who covers everything he's the guy who uh, puts together all of the turn he, he's the main driver behind the entire thing it's his tournament and he's going full time so be sure to uh support him so donate give a lot of small donation like if everybody just donates a little bit bsl will be self-sustaining and then maybe we can get some uh, i'm hoping actually microsoft just picks it up straight up just pays money for it so initial zerglings layer before speed and right now, Rancor, so a couple disadvantages for him. First of all, he's going up against Overpool, which is going to give Masuchi both the economic and Larva and a lot of other advantages. But on top of that, so he's scouting bottom right, not finding anything. So he doesn't necessarily know to go where to go with these Zerglings. It looks like he is going to guess right and go cross-map position. However, cross-map position is going to be very delayed. So he's going to have to micro his way out of this. And thus far, he's been a little bit impatient with his Zergling micro, in my opinion which has cost him a lot of matches thus far. This initial Zergling looks like it might get picked off. Does get picked off, so small advantage is there, but it's still cross-position reinforcements if he's going to continue with this. This natural expansion is something that needs to be defended. Drones pulling off the line, and a bit of free damage there from Rancor, while the rest of the Zerglings trying to group up. And here, we again, you can see they're just split up. So Masuchi waiting for superior positioning, then deciding to engage. And... Often and it looks like, yeah, getting the better of it. Supply count's just about even. Rancor down a drone and also down an expansion. His Spire, however, is morphing now compared to Masuchi. But we've seen Masuchi just plop down an evolution chamber and sneak right back in. The gas being deposited. And the Zergling's potential. It looks like Zergling speed is going to finish. So Zergling speed is an advantage. And actually, we'll see if Masuchi, if he just opts to just build a bunch of Zerglings. It looks like that is what he's doing currently. He just wants to go for a... a zergling flood upon seeing the lack of zerglings coming at him after this i think he's recognized the situation first of all he knows spawn locations because he scouted everything at this stage so now can rancor hold his front door get that spire up get a mutalisk up in the air before masuchi just outproduces him and runs him over masuchi does have one additional drone but he's got the entire other hatchery worth of larva rancor has the ramp positioning to maybe make this work with but he needs to be careful and not let these zerglings through having trouble positioning his Zerglings now. And Masuchi being very patient with this. He's not just shooting Zerglings up there. He's waiting for reinforcements. He's still testing the lines. Is he going to cycle back? No, he's still producing Zergling. Wants to bust through this. Rancor does, does have the Overlord to go ahead and see the Zerglings as they're coming out, but he might be distracted by Masuchi on the front. And actually, if Masuchi times it just right, Masuchi not getting the better end of that exchange. But if Masuchi times it just right, it can work out. The mu initial mules are being produced... Lair is just finishing. So Masuchi, if he is going to stay in this match, might want to think about dropping an Evolution Chamber. He's moving more Zerglings up to engage here, but Rancor, with the timing, looks like he might have held it perfectly because the Mutalisks are going to be up in the air just as 
the Zerglings are approaching this natural expansion, and this Overlord's still spotting more Zerglings coming across. So he just needs to hold and get these Mutalisks out. So the Mutalisks are there, and now Masuchi needs to keep these Zerglings scattered <clears throat> so they don't get picked off. One Zergling still able to sneak through. So ramp location has been breached, and potentially some Zerglings might be able to get some drone kills. Rancor and Masuchi even on drone counts overall. More Zerglings flooding through the lines. This is at least going to provide some delay. Masuchi down a drone in the midst of this because it looks like he went ahead. So he's got that Creep Colony being dropped, Evolution ch Chamber being dropped. This Overlord certainly going to get picked off, but Rancor now up a drone. Big economic advantages because that was a lot of Zerglings that were expended, and the natural expansion still exposed. This Spore Colony just being dropped. The Zerglings coming back to the main. The Mutalisks engaging. Now, will the Mutalisks get here? And what kind of damage will they be able to inflict before Masuchi is able to drop defenses to deal with it? More Zerglings flooding forward. That is not enough to break through. One Mutalisk being pulled off. This Overlord should scoot out. Needs to get out of dodge. And is he going to be able to get this Spore Colony before it finishes? I don't think so. But it looks like he's going to go for it. Never mind. Might be able to do it. Mutalisk trading out and it looks like by trading damage that spore colony is down now the natural expansion completely exposed no anti-air the zerglings running forward to try to draw those units back i don't think they're going to be able to breach with that ramp advantage more overlords are going to get picked off rancor no and this is actually a brilliant play now masuchi in the red it looks like rancor through some nice adjustments and some well played because typically that's a build order disadvantage going uh, nine pool versus over pool. More Zerglings being produced, but this is just going to be a cleanup operation from here. There, Masuchi calling GG. Well played by Rancor, able to take game three to go up 2 0 in the set. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.